Hey guys, what's going on? TV with Ball here. I was going to do a few videos outside today, but uh, it's kind of pouring rain right now, so I decided to do this instead. I'm going to be showing you guys how to polish the internals on your mechanical paintball marker. The paintball marker I'm using is a BT4 Combat. This one's already being polished, okay? Meaning I've taken off the overspray. What you're doing when you're polishing a paintball marker is you're taking off the overspray from factory. So like from the factory when they're painting this side of the aluminum receiver, the overspray when it sprays on the paint gets over and gets into here. That's no good, okay? It creates friction, it creates wear, and it decreases your efficiency of your paintball marker. So how do you fix that? Well, you polish the internals, meaning you take off that overspray, you take off that paint. Um, you would use an SOS pad, okay? You can use an SOS pad. It, the SOS pads, they have like salt, they're blue, and they're like, uh, I don't know, like aluminum fiber. Use that. That's what I use. I do not have any of that. So in place of that, pretend this is an SOS pad, okay, guys? For the uh, effect of the film, I just wanted to use this to show you what areas to do, okay? So when you take an SOS pad to your paintball marker, be sure, like I said, to take all the O-rings and everything out first. You're going to want to be using hot water, not cold water. Take hot water first. This is the first step. And rinse off any oil and whatnot like that, okay? Just rinse it all off. Get all the oil and stuff out of there. Once you have that done, you can then take your SOS pad along okay your top area is going to be your caulking bolt you know bt4 combat per se okay you're just going to want to take this and go along like that nice and gently no need to push actually it doesn't take that much effort go along this whole area right from here right through to here where all the moving parts are this would be where your power tube is do that part anyway because it's down in there so just go back and forth like so until you get all the black overspray that's in there. You'll actually notice it gets shinier and shinier. That's a good thing. Keep doing that. Just Okay, and then when you flip it over, this is the part where your bolt is. Your um, piece that pushes the paintball out of the paintball marker. Take that and give that a really good scraping, okay? Get rid of any of the black overspray in there. It doesn't really matter about this piece out here, okay? You can see how I didn't remove it. That is overspray there. That, okay? That's just where your barrel um, adapter goes. Also, another key spot to do is up in here, there's a little ridge in here. That's where the uh, linkage arm goes from the front bolt to the rear caulking handle, okay? Make sure you get that good and clean up in there as well. Be sure to do both sides equally, okay? Up here at the front, especially around where the paintball goes in, make that good and shiny. And the same thing back in here, just give that all a really good scrubbing. Once you have that done, you should have something similar to what I have here. You notice how there's no black in there. It's really, really shiny. It's just the metal, the aluminum. That's what you want. Any little black overspray can actually cause decrease in efficiency. You'll notice it through air, and you'll notice it through feet per second. All right, guys. Here's my quick demonstration on how to um, remove the black overspray inside your mechanical paintball marker. Once you guys get that done, just simply... Um, Wash off the soap that will be on there from the SOS pad with warm water. Okay, rinse it all off. Make sure you get it good on both sides. Rinse it off. Then you're going to want to take a paper towel. Hold on a second. Simply take a paper towel. And you're going to want to really dry this off really good. Any water that gets left in there, guys, is going to rust. This is the part that's really critical. Another thing you want to watch for is make sure you didn't leave any burrs behind from the SOS pads. Sometimes uh, it'll flake and leave burrs in your paintball marker. If you leave them in there and put your paintball marker all back together thinking it's great, uh, it's going to tear your O-rings out of your paintball marker pretty quick. Like I said, take all the water and whatnot out of there. Make sure you have a nice smooth finish in there. Wipe off both sides. Keep it from rusting. And then after you get that done, I lay it on a towel or something and let it air dry for a few hours. And once it's air dried, then you can wipe it all off again with another paper towel, a dry one. And then you should be good to go to put your paintball marker back together. If you need assistance on taking apart a paintball marker, um, you can check out my disassembly and reassembly video for the BT4 Combat. I have one on it, as well as a 98 Custom 
disassembly and reassembly. You can check them out on my channel. I will put a link in for both of those videos in the description of this one, so check that out. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. TV Woodsball.